What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is the Gemini Jets July 2021 releases. This is 1-400, to 1-400 Gemini Max, and 1-200. to So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off here, we have the first 1-400 to release. This is the Aeroflot A321 Neo. Um, now, I jokingly referred to Gemini Jets as a secretly Soviet company because, um, it's kind of weird, like, every single Gemini Jets release, they release at least one Russian model. I don't know if this is just a trend that's been happening the last few months, or if this is just normal, but they always release at least one Russian model for the past few months. So, I don't know what the deal with that is, but, yeah, I jokingly refer to Gemini Jets as a quote-unquote Soviet company, but they aren't, they're American. Uh, but, yeah, here we have the Edelflot A321 Neo. Looks pretty nice. I don't need it. This is going to be nice for those of you who are European collectors who collect 1 to 400. I don't know why you would because you have Herpa, which basically do every single 1 to 500 uh, model, airline livery, everything. But uh, yeah, those of you who collect 1 to 400, this Edelflot A321 Neo would be pretty nice. And let's see. What is it? I can't zoom in, can I? No, I can't. Okay, because I was trying to, I was trying to um, read the the writing but I can't and uh, yeah restrictions Victor Papa Bravo Papa Papa so V P B B P and uh, the MSRP is forty seven ninety five and of course Gemini just once again have raised the prices for their models because you know Gemini just like to do that. Moving on down the line we have this Azul eighth not E3, uh, Azul E195, uh, Ember E195. I, I don't know if this should be considered an ERJ. Um I think it's an E jet. No, it, it, would, it would be considered an ERJ, so it's an ERJ-195, is it? What does it say? It just says Embraer 195 okay. But, uh, yeah, it's the Azul uh, Embraer ERJ-195. It looks nice. This is going to be nice for those of you who are South American collectors who primarily do Brazilian airports. That's going to be the model for you. But, personally, I don't need it. Registration is Papa Romeo Alpha Uniform Kilo, PRAUK. And, uh, price is $43.95. Moving on down the line, we have two Kaleida 747-400 freighters. Both of them are the same registration, which is November 744 Charlie Kilo and 744CK. But the difference being, well, obviously they've raised the price, $62.95 and $65.95. reason why the price is different is because um, the second Kaleida 747-400, this one has flaps down, as Gemini was too lazy to put the actual image of the flaps being down, so you just show flaps down. Now, I'm actually pretty happy that Gemini Jets is kind of diversifying their 1 to 400 molds, as in, like, uh, I believe they've done interactives with 1 to 400 models before, and also they started to do it with 1 to 200s, and now I feel like they're taking that trend of flaps down from the 1 to 200s, and now they're bringing it up to 1 to 400 models. So this is a Clutter Air 747-400, one's flaps down, the other one is not. Uh, the difference being the one that without flaps is 62, the other one is 65.95. But uh, model source thankfully would typically keep this down at like 50, 60 bucks, a little bit less than Gemini Jets prices it. But uh, yeah, those are the 747-400s, they both have the same registrations, and they're both in the mask livery. Now, I actually need this for Stewart. Uh, those of you who don't know, my main airport right now is Newark Liberty International Airport, EWR. That's the one that I'm primarily focusing on. After that, it's going to be Stewart, and then after that, it's Prague. So, Stewart International Airport, for those of you who don't know, Stewart International Airport, they actually get daily clear 747 charters uh, from, whatchamacallit, they get it from Los Angeles. And this mask livery, I actually spotted it at uh, Stewart. It was, I believe it was two months ago, so this uh, livery aircraft actually flies into Stewart, but uh, yeah, that's why I need that model, but uh, yeah, moving on down the line, we have this Lufthansa AC-20 Neo, this is in the new livery, now Gemini Jets actually have fixed their problem with the engines, uh, the, I believe they fixed it with their Spirit A320 Neo uh, back in December, but they have fixed the problem with the engine, so Gemini Jets A320 Neo molds are actually decent, I'm not gonna lie. But uh, yeah, this is Lufthansa A320 Neo. Uh, it's in the new livery. I don't need it, of course, but if I were building Prague, I probably would get it. But uh, yeah, to be honest, I might actually get it. Um, if I have enough money this month, I might actually get it, uh, just like the Wizard from the last June releases. Uh, the reason why I might get it is because I obviously want to start building Prague, and so obviously 
be a nice addition because Lufthansa do fly their AT20 Neos from Frankfurt and their CRJs from Munich. I, I think it's the other way around. But uh, yeah, registration is Delta Alpha India Julia Alpha D A A A D A I J A, and um, price is forty seven ninety five. Moving on online, this is once again a flap slots extended uh, difference. There's no difference between the two. The two Qantas 789s, they both have their They both have their registration. Victor Hotel, Zulu November Kilo, VHGNK. The difference being that uh, this one has flaps down. Uh, as you know, Gemini Jets is too lazy to show it. They write it. But uh, yeah, the only difference is this one has flaps down. This one is not. Uh, as you guys can see here. And then, as you guys can see here, there really is no difference. They both have the same registration, Victor Hotel, Zulu, November, Kilo. Uh, but of course, you have the price difference, $57.95 versus $61.95. And uh, yeah, of course, I don't need it for Newark. Moving on down the line, we have an SAS CRJ900. Now, I have a feeling that this is going to sell out uh, in Scandinavia, in Scandinavian model stores, because um, I don't believe that there's ever been a release of the SAS CRJ900. And yeah, it's actually, actually, that actually looks like pretty good mold. Uh, the CRJ900, actually, it's not a good mold. I'm sorry. I, I, I meant to say it looks like a good livery, but uh, yeah, this model is most likely going to sell out. Gemini just lately have been milking their CRJ900s. Um, they've released SkyWest CRJ700s. They've really been milking their regional molds. But uh, yeah, this is an SAS CRJ900. Uh, registration is. Echo Sierra Alpha Charlie Golf yes ACG and the price is forty three ninety five. Moving on down the line, we have we just have a normal uh, UPS seven eight seven dash eight. This one's not interactive; it's just normal. Uh, of course, I don't need it for Newark, and uh, yeah. Registration is November six zero seven Uniform Papa and six zero seven UP, and the price is sixty five ninety five. Moving on down the line, we have an Airbus MRTT. Uh, this is a Royal Air Force. Registration is Zulu Zulu three two three three two Zulu Zulu three three two, and uh, yeah, price is fifty seven ninety five. And here once again we have another Airbus A three twenty one Neo, except this is in the Boris Force One. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is called the UK Force One or something like that, but I do know that it's called Boris Force One. Uh, in some places, uh, I don't know if that's referring to the AT30 that's painted in this livery or the AT21 Neo, but I'm just gonna call both of them Boris Force One. But uh, yeah, this is painted in the UK, very British livery. Uh, registration is Golf X Ray Alpha Tango Whiskey G X A T W, and uh, yeah, the price is forty seven ninety five. Moving on online, we have a lot of special uh, liveries in 1 to 200. We have an Alliance E190. This is in their Air Force Centenary 2021. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, I believe Alliance is an Australian airline, as it's sent to, hinted to by the Australian flag and the registration. I thought it was British, but now I know that it's Australian, but uh, yeah. Registration is Victor Hotel Uniform Yankee Bravo, VHUYB, and the price is $89.95. Moving on in the line, we have another America West 757. Well, not another, it's just an individual America West 757. This one's very American. Uh, I can kind of see where United got the idea for her art here liveries. I I think they got it from America West, just looking at this livery. But uh, yeah, this is an America West 757-200. Registration is November 902 Alpha Whiskey and 902 AW. And uh, price is $99.95. Do you imagine it's just keep raising your prices and nobody's gonna buy your models? Anywho, here's another case of uh, flap slots extended. Both of these models are this. Both of these models are the same, uh, except one is flap slots extended, uh, the other one isn't. They're both Astro Jet, but uh, yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see how Gemini just coats a model in chrome in one to two hundred. That's gonna be interesting to see. But uh, yeah, registration is number nine zero five November November and nine zero five and then. And uh, yeah, the normal one is $99.95, and the other one with flap slots extended is $102.95. Oh my god! $203? Jesus. Well, this is an interactive, but this is a 1 to 200 interactive, but this is $200. Gemini Jets, this, this is getting ridiculous with their price, with their price hikes. 
That's ridiculous. This is a 1 to 200 interactive Asiana Cargo. Hotel Lima 7616. And it's $200. That is bonkers expensive. But uh, yeah. Here we have a Delta A350. Difference between uh, the one that I'm about to show you, this one, the one that I'm showing you now, and the one that I'm about to show you. Uh, this one has flaps down, uh, while the other one does not. But both of them are the same registration, and they're in the Delta Spirit livery. Registration is November 502 Delta November and 502 DM. And the price is $157.95 for the one without the flaps, and $165 with the flaps, which is bonkers expensive, like I said. Anywho, moving on online, we have this Garuda Indonesia Airbus A330 900 Neo. Registration Papa Golf Golf Hotel Fox Shop PKGHF. The price is $149.95. Moving on online, we have a Northwest Airlines 757 200. Uh, this one is just plain Northwest livery. Registration is number 541 Uniform Sierra and 541 US, and it's $99.95. Moving on down the line, we have this Rex Regional Express 737-800. They released this in 1-400 last month, so they're continuing the trend of releasing stuff each month in 1-400 and 1-200 respectively. But uh, yeah, it's the same, I believe it's the same registration. Um, yeah, it's the same registration. Is the Rex 737-800 uh, registration is Victor Hotel, Romeo, Quebec, Charlie, BHRQC. And... Uh, Price is ninety five ninety five, and the last model in one to two hundred releases and of this July twenty two releases is this FedEx MD eleven in one to two hundred. Registration is November two eight one uniform Papa, and it's one fifty six ninety five. And uh, yeah, they are once again getting the trend with these last two models of releasing stuff in one to two hundred just after the one to four hundred releases. But uh, yeah. Personally, if I did get models from this release, I'd get the Kalita 747-400 with the flap slats extended, Lufthansa AT20 Neo, and I would maybe get the Qantas 789, but that's probably a no, because I don't do any airports that Qantas flies to. But, uh, yeah, this is quite an eventful release for me, and I hope that NG Models is going to have a better release. But, uh, yeah. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn the notification bell so you don't our videos, and comment down below what you're getting from J the July 2021 releases of Gemini Jets and NG models whenever they come out. Once again, thank you for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. As always, goodbye.